hey guys get ready for a dance please ignore the fact i look like a dying cockroach but like <laughs> i'm having a moment also ignore like the nail polish on my fingers um i painted them literally less than 10 minutes ago i didn't post to get ready from yesterday i was having such a lazy day like i just could not be bothered to do anything so i pretty much just stayed in bed till like my tutor and then i baked gingerbread cookies so um yeah also the fireworks were absolute hell like yeah they're gorgeous but like bro let me sleep my dog was literally dying like she was so terrified but you know what can i do she just stayed under the covers the whole evening the whole night whatever I don't know this is literally like day four hair and like the amount of dry shampoo i put in is ridiculous because I just couldn't be bothered to wash my hair yesterday. I know, shocker. And then, like, I was like, oh, I'm going to have to wash it tomorrow anyway. So I just piled on a bunch of dry shampoo. And that's... I just dealt with that. A lot of you were asking why I put makeup on for dance. Trust me, I could not turn up like this. I would rather, like, melt in a hole than literally turn up like this. Um, but it's fine okay we move it's currently literally 11 40 right now i need to leave at like 12 15 i think because my dance starts at 1 30 i want to say yeah 1 30 um so it takes like a good hour to get there also i have quite a few open evenings like six form open evenings to go to next week um i missed like three last week by accident i just didn't know they were on and i'm really angry about that but whatever um but yeah i'm going to my school's open evening um even though let's be so rude, i'm not gonna actually go there but like still and then um i'm going to some other ones so that's gonna be exciting i don't know why this get rid of me is so like talkative like normally i have nothing to say what the actual frick I genuinely don't know what to do because like my bangs are so short to the point I won't be able to put my hair into a ponytail for dance and I'm like genuinely scared for my life. My fave part, um, I feel like my arms look weird in t-shirts but I've just learned to like move past it and I literally do not care anymore. That's a lie but like still, I know like I have a fever. Anyway, okay I'm gonna do my mascara and I'll come back. Bougie. Okay, all I have to do is my hair and then I'm done. Okay, bye guys. Happy Valentine's Day. So get ready with me for school. I feel like I never post like consistently anymore. Like I kind of just post whenever I wake up or I try to, honestly. Because I just like don't wake up on time anymore. And yesterday, two of my nails broke off and I literally got them done on Friday. And that's what the set looks like. But they were for Valentine's Day, and they're not even, like, a full set on Valentine's Day. I'm not even wearing an outfit that's really, like, fully pink. It's just, like, I'm really lazy, and I don't want to wear, like, a tank top that's pink, because I'm just, like, too lazy. I think I ran out of this, so I'm going to go grab my new one. Okay, I just grabbed my new one. Yeah. It comes out so much better. Anyways, I got like 12 hours of sleep last night because I woke up at 6 today and I went to bed at 6 last night. Which means I did not do any of my homework. So I did my history homework this morning. But I have a Chinese test so I have to study on that. But it's currently 6.51 and I have to leave the house at 7.10. Uh, basically i've been like kind of breaking out so i'm going back to like my old skincare routine just for now to see if it's like just i don't know we'll see all my makeup is downstairs so basically yesterday i woke up at like 7 50 and i have to leave the house at 7 50 so like that's not good so i had to do all my makeup in the car and skincare so I've been so sleep deprived, but since I went to bed at like 6 and then woke up at 6, I just, I feel so much better and alive and hopefully my like sleep schedule will get better eventually. As much sleep as possible this week because for this weekend, because I don't want to be dead like the whole weekend when I'm with my friends. 
I also need a pack for that, so let me know if you guys want, like, a packing video, kind of, so, yeah. I think I need to start, like, posting more consistently, because it's just, like, annoying for you guys that I post, like, every two days, and that's just, like, not fair. So. Today is going to be a long day, because today is where we have health, and we have all of our classes today, which I hate. I need to like clean my room and I need to clean up my vanity like there's just so much to do right now and I just feel like I don't have the time okay so my mom just came into my room saying happy valentine's day and she gave me a bag full of like stuff well not really full but she got me this whole pack of Burt's Bees so it has the original and their vanilla bean and their pomegranate and then tons of BB blenders, which are like peeps themed, I guess. And so it's like, that's so cute. And then also like Hershey's. So this Hershey bar is like a sponge. Like that is so cute. Anyways, I really have to like get going now, but I'm done. So I just like am so happy that I got so much sleep last night. Because I never get enough sleep, which is so concerning. I usually go to bed at like 4 every day but i've been getting so much sleep this week so okay that's it for my get ready with me bye guys happy valentine's day So excited because I haven't had nails in about a week or two because they all came off. Um, oh, I think I'm just gonna go pretty natural today, like acrylics, but just like a natural. I never go like fully natural. I've always got like a color or French or something like that. So I think I'm just gonna go for like a nudey, pinky vibe, glossy, pretty. Anything better than that. <laughs> just using the Batiste leave-in like foam conditioner just to because I'm gonna slick my hair back This just kind of helps it get into place. I think I'm gonna do it mid way not all the way up I think I'm gonna do it about there. What do we think? Using this is also better than using gel because it's just like a bit better for your hair So it just kind of helps to stick it in place. Obviously, it's not as strong as gel So if you've got like a fringe or something you will still need gel But for me, this is good enough and then for the actual bun I'm gonna split the ponytail in two and then twist and then wrap them around each other so it looks like this. I'll show you the back. Cute. <laughs> I think. I hope. Is it cute? No, I can't see it. None of my business, the back of my hair. <laughs> I'm going to wash my hands and then I'll do skincare. I'm going to dampen my face with the Caudalie Great Water. And then I'm going to put some Kiehl's Hyaluronic Acid on. I'm going to pat that into my skin. Give me some hydration. I'm going to let that sink in a little bit and put some eye cream on. This is the Made by Mitchell one. That was wait. Why did I put two pumps on? I did not need two pumps. Hydrate those under eyes. I'll just rub the rest onto my hands again. And now I'm going to put some vitamin C serum on. This is the um, Skin and Me Brighten and Boost Firming Vitamin C Serum. Especially down here where I've got like scars because it's good for like dark spots and stuff. Oh, this wasn't even a spot. It was just like a little tiny little bump that I decided to pick and squeeze. I'm actually not going to use moisturiser today. I'm just going to go straight in with SPF. This is the Ultraviolet SPF 50 Supreme Screen Hydrating Facial Skin Screen. I'm just going to put that all over my face. And then I'm putting some extra on for my neck. We want to prevent the wrinkly neck as much as we can. Oh, <laughs> I'm so close to my eye. I'm so glad it didn't go in my eye. Anyways, now my skin is nice and prepped and glowy. I'm going to prime. This is the avocado primer from the Beauty Crop. I'm going to go in with Made by Virtual Curve Case as my first step to bronze. I'm going to go into shade hollow there on a dense brush. Work it into my hand and then pat it into my skin. I'm going to put my hourglass concealer on this thing here even though it's a scab so it's probably not going to cover that well but this concealer does have high coverage so let's pray. I'm going to put a bit of this down here as well and then I'm going to put the Anastasia concealer like under my eyes and anywhere else I want to conceal. As always I'm going to take a dense brush to pat that in. This brush is from the Beauty Crop. It's the F210 concealer brush. I'm going to leave the concealer around here till last so that it can like set a bit and build up some more coverage. Getting a bigger brush for down here because it's so long doing it with that little brush. <laughs> Moment of truth for this self inflicted scalp. It's less red but it's still noticeable. I'm going to work a little bit more of the hourglass concealer into this dense brush again. And just really gently pat it over that situation. Really gently. Pat it on. And it's gone. I'm just gonna like pat the edges with my finger just so there's no like harsh line. It's covered a lot more now, so that's good. I'm gonna go back into the curved case for some blush. I'm gonna go in with the shade Snatural. 
pat it where I want it. Put a little bit on my nose as well. I always go back in with my bronzer brush just to like blend the edge of that blush out into the bronzer. Then I just go over my whole face with a sponge to make sure there's no brush strokes or anything like that. I'm not going to go over that because it will take the coverage away. So I'm going to go just around. For powder today, I'm going to go in with my Milk Makeup One. That was quite satisfying. <laughs> this is how I itch my face when I've got makeup on. <laughs> Obviously on my powder puff. I need to re-blend the creases under my eyes quickly so I don't set them in place. Really press that powder in. Powder just makes the biggest difference ever, like, just love it. I'm gonna put quite a lot of powder on that area just to like really make sure the concealer stays and to make sure it's like quite flat. The matter it is, the flatter it is. <laughs> put a tiny bit of powder bronzer on, this is my hourglass one. Fancy some little freckles today so I'm gonna put some on with this She Glam freckle tint thing. Then I think I just want subtle blush today so I'm gonna go in with Armani shade 10. I'm going to spritz some of my Glow Milk Mist all over my face to make sure it's all set and melted in together and all last all day. While I'm waiting for my face to dry, I'm going to just do my brow. I'm just putting some Refi Brow Gel in. This brow is so much more sparse than this one, so I'm going to just add like a couple of little flicks with this Glossier Brow Pen, just like up here, to make sure they're sort of like the same. I actually don't know whether I'm going to put mascara on today. I might just curl them and leave them. I'm going to put some Made by Mitchell Lip Mask on. This is so nice. It's like... Makes your lips look so glossy, but obviously it's like really hydrating for your lips, which I definitely need. I'm gonna put a little bit more mousse on my hair just to make sure like all the little bits are like down. And then put some perfume on. This is um, My Way from Armani, it's so nice. I'm literally just wearing what I've already got on. It's just an all grey outfit, nothing special. But yeah, that is me ready to get my nails done. Um, thank you so much for watching. I love you so, so much. Bye.
why I was listening to this podcast today. That actually made me want to put my bottom lip over my forehead. Today we're gonna be talking about a rare breed, the out of touch influencer. I literally shit you not for like 40 minutes straight just complaining. People that have to press record and film a TikTok just complaining, trauma dumping. You know, at first it was funny. At first I just want to be like, look how much money you make, look at all the opportunities you get. Like I wanted to respond with logic. Now I just want to be like, you need to seek help right now. I'm going to tell you right now, any individual that has the ability to put themselves in other people's shoes would not be saying influencing is hard. I think the part about the podcast that really got me is when they took 30 minutes to sit there and talk about how they needed to make time to have a normal life how it really stresses them out and gets to them because people only want to hang out with them on camera and that's all they do i'm sorry do you know how many people would kill kill for their biggest problem to be making time to just be you there are people wondering how they're gonna feed their kids there are people dying because they don't have health insurance your problem is <gasps> I filmed too much. I hit the TikTok record button too much. I need to make time to have a normal life and spend quality time. You know how many people can't even spend quality time? Because they literally can't breathe for a second without thinking of their financial state or how they're gonna get their sick child to the doctor without insurance. Just like, wake up, dude. And then they wanna say stuff like, try being an influencer. Well, guess what? I am. It's literally my full-time job. It says that on my taxes. Please don't ever call me that because I will cry and throw up though. I'm making more than pretty much anyone I know and I'm 22 years old, moved out and financially stable. What complaint about my job could I possibly have? I don't even want to hear it. You're invalidating my feelings. Blah, blah, blah. Babe, you know that it's almost insulting to complain to people that can't even eat about how hard filming TikToks for a living is? It's literally like offensive. There's a reason I thank you guys every time I get PR or every time I buy something for myself because you guys are quite literally the reason. This freaking apartment I'm sitting in right now <laughs> wouldn't have if it weren't for you. Those two brand new puppies that I just got wouldn't have if it weren't for you. I will never understand how you can sit there and talk to your supporters and try to make them feel sorry for you for the position you're in that you're so very lucky to be in. My mind cannot even grasp coming on here and saying, oh my God, Gosh, influencing today, filming this TikTok today. I don't even think I could look at myself in the mirror and have pride and respect for myself after doing something like that. Just honestly, like so sick and twisted. And now that I'm in this position, I feel like I can't even be the level of infuriated of the people who are currently waking up at crack ass dawn and going to work a full-time job to come home and scroll on TikTok and see those damn videos. I feel like I can't even grasp how you feel. And I'm just so sorry. And I want you to know that we're not all like that. I'm so proud of you. I have so much respect for you because I have been there. I'm literally mad for you. My blood is literally just like boiling thinking about that podcast. Like I'm shaking. I'm not even mad anymore. I'm just like sick to my stomach. Love you, Hamnaker, so much. I'll never be able to thank you enough for making my literal dream my reality and i'm so privileged and i'm so lucky and i love you so much bye hop knockers i'll see you in the next one let's get ready for the people's choice awards <laughs> i'm back with patrick and laura today which is so exciting because i feel like we haven't had this thruple in so long we have been living so long yeah. i'm wearing my hair up today and we're gonna do like this black eyeliner look and sharp sharp never really does a hair up <laughs> Today's the People's Choice Awards, which is just like a bunch of different categories. And honestly, I'm getting confused by all the award shows at this <laughs> point. I'm like, there's so many. So I was telling them how I went to the face gym yesterday, which was the craziest place I've ever been. You, you literally sit in this chair for an hour and they're like beating up your face. But I was like, I think I look like Bella Hadid after this. <laughs> It's almost Patrick and I's one year anniversary of the first time that he came so to Casa More, my college house, and did my makeup. That is so crazy. Patrick is using the She's the Moment blush, which is a new color. It's kind of corally and like, She's the moment. I feel like I normally don't do corally colors, but this is so pretty. I was so nervous because I got a spray tan last night. And then of course I was drinking water and I was trying to be so careful and I spilt it all over myself. And there was like all these lines, but you actually can't see it. it. I was really nervous. So we did a little bit of an underpainting technique. So now he's just dabbing on some foundation, but we did basically everything else first. I'm sorry, I'm being a creeper. I'm like, <laughs> Wait, the eyes are looking so good. I'm so excited for you guys to see what I'm wearing today. All right, here is the finished look. Come back for the outfit video. Bye.
Ready for me to go to school grounded free. I was grounded like two days, but it felt like two years. It should have been longer, actually. This past weekend, all I did was take long naps, and like, I'm actually excited to go to school. That's how hard my weekend was. Y'all, I had like, no phone. I didn't have my phone, but I had my iPad. Guys, you know what I did? I finished a puzzle. Like, I've never done a puzzle in my whole life. And I cleaned my room. Like, I was actually productive this weekend. I feel like you need to be grounded more often. The accomplishments she has done this past weekend is, like, crazy. Right? I'm actually glad I get to go back to school because, like, I get to actually talk to people and see my crush part about this weekend is there's no mukbang monday because i was grounded so i can't even have good food what can i say i'm so depressed i didn't even do my heatless curls i have to do the morning announcements soon like i'm not prepared for that because everybody's gonna hear me talk I mean, you talk a lot so i mean this should be normal for you one thing i did get excited about this week was that summer friday sent us their new butter bomb look how glamorous and cute the packaging is oh my god this smells like a vanilla cake pop and a sugar cookie combined like <gasps> oh my it does smell like sugar cookie okay time to try it uh oh Whoa. It's like your lips, but better with like a little bit of glitter. Okay, slay. Slay some of Fridays. Finally, I get to go to school with my phone, but not all my phone privileges are going to be the same. Valentine's Day dance is coming up soon, and I'm excited about that because if you know, you know. Guys, we got to go by back to the real world. So how was it being grounded? Adios. Get ready with me to go to a hockey game. I've never been to an ice hockey game. Okay, bitch, this is going to be so exciting. I actually just watched YouTube videos on the game rules because, girl, I don't know. It, it, it seems like um Ultimate Frisbee. I used to play Ultimate Frisbee, so that's what I equate it to. But I'm probably just going to be confused the whole time. I'm not going to lie. I'm going as a bandwagoner. You know those people who hate people who like, like sports because everybody likes sports? I'm one of those people that likes it because everybody likes it. I'm going to try this new blush. I love me a purple blush. But I've never tried this one before. I know you guys were telling me about it because Fenty Beauty, like, their purple blush was discontinued. Ooh, wait, this is cute. It's like a rosy color. Let's see if it lasts because my thing with blushes is that they don't last. And if you're wondering what time it is, it's 5.06. I'm really, really early, okay? The game starts at 7, so we're going to be there at 6.30. So I'm going to leave my house at 5.55. Look, my time management this year is very on point as you can tell i like my brows very very natural and i just add a little bit to the ends not too much you guys always ask me how i get my lips to be like super pink and plump this thing look i do like three dots look how cute that is and it lasts me all night and i just put some lip gloss on top and we're good i do also like to use it as blush because i find that it's a stain so you know my blush doesn't come off that is like my biggest problem with blushes they always come off i love this contour stick but it puts on too much so my hack is a tooth not toothpick q-tip honestly anytime i am going to any basketball game or football game or whatever i'm not even excited about a game i'm just excited about the food at the arena because i'm about to get me some garlic fries and they have the best garlic fries at those arenas okay it's 5 12 i'm gonna be a little bit bold even though i don't have that much time so i have to do my hair still i'm gonna add a little bit of a wing here this is gonna be so cute it gives me like a subtle smoky eye look at that that is so cute i don't even know if i should be putting makeup on because the other day my eye was red like bright ass red and it was itchy and i don't know what the fuck was going on but it's been two days since so i think i'm good but i'm scared that if i put makeup on it's gonna come back i don't want it to come back and then i add this little egg your soul thing it's 5 16 i'm just gonna put mascara on and then we're gonna do my hair my favorite mascara recently has been this cleo one dude it holds my lashes up and it doesn't give me raccoon eyes my biggest problem with mascara is that gives me raccoon eyes last step is some clear gloss i haven't tried this one from about face let's see if it's good it smells minty Ooh, i like it i'm setting spray it's 5 20 my makeup look is done it's very very no makeup makeup look okay let's do my hair get ready with me but if i say the word okay i have to stop doing my makeup and end the video like to you guys this may seem like kind of an easier challenge to do but honestly for me it is so hard i start every every pretty much every single clip of my videos with the o word basically every single one of my clips if you scroll down it's like a word i'm gonna like do this now like i don't know it's just like a habit comment below other words that i say a lot so i can do this with different words
I'm pretty sure like where I am in this challenge right now I'm doing pretty good I don't think I've said it it's honestly way easier than the like challenge because I say like just like randomly it's so easy to say like but when it's the O word, it's kind of more controlling. Like, you can just not say it. Literally one minute after 12 o'clock, and the roller rabbit pajamas are already sold out, and I was just about to buy them. I was at a whole sport just to get sling from Love Shack Fancy. What? You little preppy girls are trying to steal the pajamas? Like, I don't even get any other roller rabbit pajamas. I have, like, the pink ones from sixth grade because I was a preppy girl. But I wanted, like, the bow ones. Is that? It was so, so cute. Sold out in one minute from Love Shack Fancy, like, X Roller Rabbit. And then I was like, okay, whatever. Then I'll get the monkey ones from... <laughs> I just said it. She want to finish what I was talking about, though. Because, like, I was so... Like, I don't even know why I'm talking about this, but I wanted to get my pajamas, and then they literally sold them out. They were so cute. And then I was going to get the long pair ones, and then they sold out. Tell me if this is ugly. Because, like, I don't know. It, it's, like... It may be cuter in her life. I love pink so much. So I feel like it may be cute. And I feel like the look is so cute. Like, just, like, imagine me. Like, whatever. I bought it. It was really overpriced, though. And it sold out after, like, one minute after. Or not even, like, after I checked out, it was sold out, so. Okay, I literally lost talking about Love Shack Fancy and Roller Rabbit, so. Here's the final look. I think it looks bomb. It is concealer and Rare Beauty Tinted Moisturizer. Okay, that is it. Peace out, y'all. Good morning and happy Wednesday. It's 8.30 and my alarms didn't go off this morning, so I'm running late. Also, I'm getting sick, if you couldn't tell by my voice. Like, I was talking about it yesterday with one of my friends, everybody's getting sick. And sure enough, I wake up this morning and my throat is bright red and, like, covered in little bumps. Like, are you kidding me? No, we have a math quiz at some point this week. I'm just not sure when. I'm really hoping it wasn't today. But since it's a Wednesday, it's a short day, so I doubt he would do it today, but there's still a chance that he could have anyways i am so excited for it to start getting hot again like i was looking at the weather and it looks like it's starting to go up we're around like the highs are in the 50s which is a lot better than it's been because it's been pretty much my dog just locked in it's been pretty much 30s and 40s i also need one of those makeup organizers that goes on your desk like i'll probably get that spinny one i don't like the way it looks but it's the only thing that I know of that'll probably hold everything. Cause right now I have some stuff on my desk and some stuff inside this drawer and this stuff inside the drawer is just a pain to get out. And I also need a new desk. I've had this thing for over 10 years now and it's disgusting and broken. Like I know I've talked about it before. The drawer is taped together. Like that tape goes around the bottom of it to hold the bottom in the desk okay i might go get chick-fil-a for breakfast that sounds really good right now and since i'm already late it doesn't really matter like minis and a hash brown oh my god that would be so good anyways i'm done bye ready with me to walk in a fashion show of course i'm running late because when am i not i have like 20 minutes to do my makeup maybe but i also have to like walk over there i don't know i have so much going on right now and i'm running really really late i made a full video earlier this week explaining all about the fashion show but it's basically hosted by one of the sororities at my college and it's for their philanthropy event and it's mom's weekend right now so all the moms are going to be there like watching us walk in the fashion show i don't know i'm really excited but also really really nervous doing this is extremely out of my comfort zone but this year i'm just trying to say yes to as many opportunities as i can because this is something that i would have loved to do when i've younger when i was younger it's like always been a dream of mine and i know i'm gonna be so happy once i've done it I definitely get in my head a lot when it comes to my dreams and like what I want to do with my life and this year I'm really really trying to not do that so I'm just trying to say yes to as many things. I feel like this shade of foundation is too light like I could be wrong but to me it washes me out a little bit let me know. I feel like I have a very complicated skin color and never in my life can I get like a good match for any type of like foundation, concealer, anything. Hopefully bronzer will bring some life back into my face. I don't know, I just feel like every shade is always too light, too dark, too warm, 
too neutral, too cool. Like, I just need custom foundation. Not gonna lie, I'm kind of terrified. I just really don't want to make a fool of myself or trip or fall. Like, that would be the absolute worst. But I'm, I don't know. Hopefully everything will go well. This has never happened to me in my life, but my makeup is peeling off of my face, off of my nose, off of my forehead. This has never happened to me in my life, so I don't know what to do. I think I'm just going to take it off and start all over. I have 10 minutes till I need to be there. All right, back to step one. I don't even understand how this happened because it's never happened to me in my life, but of course, it's going to happen today of all the days. I used a different foundation and it's still freaking peeling off my face. Maybe third time will be a charm. It better freaking be a charm because I don't know what I'm going to do. This is the third or fourth time I'm redoing my makeup. I am incredibly late and it's just, it won't stay on. At this point, I just don't even have a choice. I'm just going to have to live with it. This was definitely the worst possible thing that could have happened. And because of the amount of times I tried to redo my makeup, I took all my fake tan off. I'm praying that mascara will just save me right now. Maybe, I don't know came in and helped me a little bit so i mean it's staying on my face kind of but i'm supposed to be there in three minutes i won't be there i don't know what Bye. future mia here everything went fine i was just being really stressed and dramatic per usual hello guys get ready with me malamang alangan get ready with you katabi bakit ajan hindi naman divine Miss na miss ko na naman kayo 3 days ako walang upload na para bang hindi ko kayo natatawagan kasi busy ako my love eh o oh, ikaw wala kang love Go! Isaya na lang natin ay magpapakilig na naman tayo sa larangan ng volleyball. Ang dami sa inyong nagtatanong kung nasa yung highlights ko ng volleyball. Eh wala nga. Wala kang highlights. Wala may edit. Gumawa na talaga ako ng highlights ko sa IG. Check nyo na lang kasi onti pa lang yun. Hindi ko na mahanap yung iba kong videos. O ang gagamitin natin ngayon for my base is magkukusyon tayo. Na para bang kaala mo naman, budget na ang pupuntahan lagi. First time ko ito magagamit, bigay lang to sa akin ni Honey. DLK Airy Matte Cushion Foundation with SPF 15. Ang ganda ng packaging niya and sana ka-shade ko to. So Honey, kung maririnig mo to, sina-shoutout kita kahit nasan ka man ngayon. O oh, ika, nasa ba? Nandun ka lang sa circuit. Pati plakado yung coverage niya, hindi siya nagbibiro. So ibiblend na lang natin siya ng sponge para mababawasan yung coverage niya. Kasi OE ate. So guys, maraming maglalaro ngayon. So kailangan natin magpakita ang gilas. Hindi sa larangan ng volleyball ha. Sa pag may makeup na lang ate. Isip ko rin kung mag-vlog ako ngayon kahit gabi na. Kasi guys, dumating na yung in-order natin camera from Japan. Pinasabay ko to sa friend ko na si Dance na pinasabay niya rin sa friend niya. Nang dahil sa friend niya, ngayon may camera na kami nagagamit. Talagang salamat. Iiyak ako. Ah, paka mo. May nagtatanong ng blush na ginagamit ko. This is from the Ready With Me Milk Tint in the shade Material Girl. Night will turn and slumber and let I do with your life. This feeling ko talaga lately. Sobrang nag-e-enjoy ako mag-volleyball. And feeling ko, volleyball talaga yung pinakapahinga ko kahit Alam niyo yung napapagod ka, pero hindi ka napapagod. Paka-OA talaga. Divine ate, ang ganda ng base natin. Aminin niyo, ang pinaka-importante kapag alam mo magpapawis ka is magsaset ka ng face, malamang. Dapat alam niyo na yan. Isaset niyo rin yung bronzer niyo. Ito guys, optional lang to kung gusto niyo pang mag-contour. Pero ako gusto ko. Siyempre, wala kayong magagawa kasi nanonood lang kayo ngayon. Hindi nang hawak yung kamay ko. Paka-OA. Siyempre, highlighter. Ginagamit ko talaga ng highlighter is pink. Ewan ko kung bakit. Divine, nakaka-fresh kasi siya na para ba? Okay. Hindi na ako magkikilay. O brow gel na lang ako. Sa mga nagtatanong din ng lip combo ko, ito yung ginagamit ko, yung Get Ready With Me Lip Liner in the shade An and Hydra Gloss in the shade Blow. Yes, tignan nyo talaga yung atakan na yan. Kung gusto nyo ng affordable, gamitin nyo yung Dazzle Me. Pero ako ngayon, dahil bilang kailangan ko naman ng something expensive sa face na to, gagamitin natin yung Charlotte. Ganun lang. For may mascara, gagamitin natin yung Get Ready With Me. Ito na talaga yung ginagamit kong mascara kasi hindi talaga siya nag-i-smash siya. Tignan mo, divine na bubukay niya! Okay, guys, this is the final look. Diba, sobrang nakaka-fresh na para bang hindi naglalaro yan. Bush! Yun lang guys, bye! Sana mag-champion kami.